for the uh, 37th America's Cup, we're debuting some brand new technology and the entire idea is to try to make an invisible force of wind visible. We can tell you exactly where the wind is, how fast it's blowing, what direction it's coming from across the entire race area. So the way that we achieve that is that we use a sense of technology called LIDARs. So what we do is we basically project out into Barcelona by eight lasers and the lasers bounce off impurities in the air, okay? And from that, we can calculate the wind speed and the wind direction across the whole of the, of the race area. You then got to fuse that, that data together and that data, because it's coming from a natural source, is actually quite noisy, you know, and you have to deal with all of that, that complexity within the signals, okay? Using some pretty sophisticated science and mathematical modeling to create a wind field that's an accurate representation of what is really going on. It's the kind of technology in a way that the sailing teams would love to have uh, access to. The wind information that we're generating is completely restricted to the television product. So we have all this raw data and we're visualising it, we're making an invisible force visible. And so the next question was what else can we do with it? Why don't we come up with a way of predicting what the strategic options might be? Okay, so what the ghost boat is, when Side IQ provide us the LiDAR data giving the wind speed and direction at every 10 metres, and that gets put into my simulator which computes the optimal route to the next cross, the next mark, calculates the best gate choice, and basically I have a range of options that I can choose from. It enables us to be smarter than the sailors. The sailors have to see it with their own eyes, where we've got the data coming in, which I can put into my simulator, which calculates the best route. A good way to think about it is, we're gonna show you in a three-dimensional way exactly what is happening in the minds of the skippers, Peter Burling, Jimmy Spittle, and so on. They build a three-dimensional picture of what's happening in the wind, and then they construct their core strategy based on that. We're looking to unlock the story of the America's Cup by providing really strong graphics techniques that make the entire sport way more understandable.